I wanted to hop on and chat with you guys about something that is so, so important. So if you are looking to increase your chances of conceiving, if you would like to have a healthy pregnancy and actually influence the health of your baby right now, then hang around. So I got an email earlier this week uh, from someone who said that they felt like a light bulb went off when I said that it takes three months to prepare, that you want three months to prepare to conceive. And that's a number that I want to drive home to you, ladies, is three months. And I'm going to tell you why. So um, if you're wondering, though, who's talking to you, my name is Crystal Melanson. I'm a functional nutritionist and a natural fertility specialist and founder of the Preconception Plan. And I want to ask you a couple questions so you can let me know in the comments below. I want to ask you, how long were you studying for your current job or your career? How long were you studying or preparing for that? I want to ask you, how long did you prepare for your wedding if you're married? So how long did you actually prepare for your wedding? And you can let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm going to guess most likely is I'm going to hear answers like four plus years or so of college to prepare for your career, your job. Um, you're probably going to say eight months, a year, even longer to prepare for your wedding. Um, you know, how long were you looking for your house or the place that you live at? Good things, important, life-changing things take time, months or even years to prepare for. So I ask, why, <laughs> why, why, why do so many women and couples not prepare to conceive with the same importance in mind? Um, it takes longer than nine months to make a baby. And I'll explain. That's because, you know, so ladies, they often go off of birth control and then they want to get pregnant immediately. Uh, or you realize you're getting older, so you just start trying, right? Yes. <laughs> um, or suddenly you decide one day like, oh, we're just going to go for it or we're going to stop preventing, right? And then when it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out as you hoped, you obviously are completely heartbroken. Um, you're searching for answers. You're looking to then make changes. But what if we paid respect to the preparation time instead of living in a reactive world? So conventional medicine is unfortunately very much based off of this most of the time. It's very reactive. You wait to have problems, right? Um, you wait to have symptoms and then you go to the doctor. I spoke with someone earlier um, last week that said that their doctor wouldn't do any tests. They wouldn't investigate their health at all because they weren't having big enough problems yet. That's so sad, right? Like, why do you have to wait to experience heartbreak um, and that overwhelm before doing something? You know, we don't want to live in that reactive world, especially when it comes to your fertility, especially when it comes to making a baby. Um, and that's one of my missions is to really help women and couples be proactive in taking action now in this preconception time before getting beaten up, you know, down the road after they've experienced things. So three months, I gave you that number. Three months is the minimum amount of time that you want to prioritize yourself, that you want to gift to yourself to make a difference, to truly make a difference in your health and your fertility. Um, that's because that's how long it can actually take to influence your egg and sperm quality. So 90 days is how long it takes for an egg to fully form. And during that 90 days, you have a lot of influence on that egg, on that egg quality. So what you're doing during that, that three months makes a difference. And three months is the minimum, the magic number that you want to spend doing this, to making changes. 
That's the magic number that's often in a functional health approach um, because it's the minimum that you can do to really truly make a difference in your health and your fertility. But for others like myself, I had PCOS. Um, I had other signs that my body was giving me, other health concerns. I was told it'd be extremely difficult to get pregnant naturally. So I took longer than that three months, knowing that that was a minimum, but I took longer to really prepare my body and prioritize myself um, to make a difference. So imagine um, if you want to get pregnant at soon or in six months or in a year, you know, what if you took that time to really prepare, to be proactive, to maximize your fertility, um, to mend any um, gaps in your health or your fertility that you might have, to increase your chances of success for the best possible outcomes. And like I said, for the future health of your baby as well, um, because that is determined somewhat, you know, in the preconception time, those eggs, you know, the egg and sperm quality that we talked about, that's your future child. And we are influencing that before we conceive. Um, to prevent miscarriage, to, you know, the not so much fun sides of pregnancy that can just come along with the overwhelming um, changes that your bodies are going through. That can be helped before you conceive. And also so you can show up after the baby's born, right? So um, you want to be a good mom, a good parent, a good father. You want to be there for your child after they're born. So having that health, having that vitality, all of that, um, makes a difference before you get pregnant, before your body is going through all these changes. So taking a few months is not that long. Remember, we talked about how long you prepared for your wedding, right? That's one day. Um, this is preparing for your baby. And putting yourself first now is putting your future family first as well, too. It's a real gift. Um, making changes to your diet, to your lifestyle, prioritizing your fertility and being proactive in your journey now makes a difference. So I, you know, I work with ladies to do this in my program, the preconception plan to make those step-by-step -step changes. Cause I know it can be overwhelming. It can be a lot, but it does just, you know, all you have to bring to the table is that commitment, that commitment and willing to invest in yourself that little bit of time. Um, because it is so, so important. So this is a shift. I know it's a mindset shift for a lot of you. Because like I said, the conventional world is very much wrapped up in being reactive. So shifting to be really proactive. Um, if you're already down the journey, if you've already been trying to conceive though, that's okay too. Um, it's not too late. You can still say yes to yourself and still prioritize this. Sometimes, you know, it is taking a step back or sometimes it's just adding on to your plan and taking that action to help. Um, so if you're wanting to conceive soon, if you know someone that is looking to conceive or even if it's just like on their radar, um, then please listen and share this valuable information with them because it's really a movement. It's a movement I want to make to help prevent heartache, to help prevent overwhelm, to prevent anxiety, the strain in relationships that can come along with those struggles. Um, so give yourself time, gift that to yourself and your family, and prepare before we have this huge life-changing event that we want to create. Um, so if you want to chat about this, if you want to chat about how you can prepare your body to conceive boost your fertility or support yourself, you know, on this fertility journey that maybe you're already on, then shoot me a message and I'd love to chat and talk with you. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me today, ladies, and spread the word, seriously spread the word, because like I said, this is a mindset shift that many need to hear. So um, let others know and I hope to hear from you too. So I'll talk to you ladies soon. Have a good afternoon.